This video is how to replace a keyboard on a Toshiba Satellite U840. This is a small Ultrabook. I couldn't find another video showing how to do this, so I figured I'd make one. Um, so with this laptop here, take the screws out of the bottom. So there's a few along the edges. Um, these rubber feet on the front here, you can leave those on there. They don't have to come off. But take off the two along the back. And under those, there's two screws. So you remove those screws also. Bottom comes off. I like to remove the battery before working on most stuff. With this one here, there's a few screws that have to come out before the battery lifts out. You just undo the two connections here. Battery lifts right out. Um, I've already started to remove the keyboard on this one, so when I flip it over, you'll see it's already halfway out. But right here, this is the uh, connector for the keyboard. So this little plastic piece here lifts up. Ribbon cable comes out. Flip it over. So I've already started to remove this one, but it just popped up right there. Um, the trouble I had at first was... Uh, Here's the new keyboard, by the way. Underneath it, there's a clear plastic coating that peels off, and it's not supposed to. That's actually supposed to be part of the keyboard. So what happened when I was pulling this keyboard up was uh, the plastic coating is separated. If I can show you, it's right here. So what you want to do with this laptop is get a small screwdriver. Um, you can just pry up on one of the corners of the keyboard carefully. You don't want to mark the, uh, the case here. And they have some black double-sided tape under here. That's sticky. So you just want to make sure that the uh, clear plastic film comes up with the keyboard and the black double-sided tape stays on the laptop, which is the problem I was having along the front here, so I'm gonna have to peel this plastic tape off, this double-sided tape, stick it back onto the laptop, and pull up the rest of the plastic coating, and the keyboard should lift up with it. This black tape is really sticky and it's thin, so it's hard to work with. Stuck it back onto the laptop there the best I could, the parts that, uh, separated anyways the rest of its kind of intact there now and it's just starting to pull up this stuff is really sticky so you're probably gonna destroy your keyboard in the process so don't take it out unless you have a replacement but I have to stress do not take this keyboard out unless you absolutely have to as you can see it's completely mangled so to put the new one in this part's important you want to get the ribbon cable through the opening before you stick the keyboard down, otherwise it's probably going to be pretty hard to pull it through from the bottom. So I'm just lining this up, making sure it's not sticking before I get the cable through. It's hard to do this with one hand. Alright, so that's feeding in. And now I'm going to carefully stick the keyboard down. Backside first. Make sure the cable's still in there. And we'll seat that properly. And there's the cable at the bottom here. So when you've got the bottom off here, you want to be really careful opening and closing it because on each side there's only one screw going into the hinge so it's not a very strong connection you don't want to force it down you don't want to break any of the plastics here those are expensive to replace and hard to find so to put the cable back in it's the reverse of taking it out make sure this little plastic piece is open or in the up position Just tuck the ribbon cable underneath it, as far back as it'll go. And lock it in place. I'm going to reinstall the battery. 
I didn't actually have to remove the battery in this model, I just took it out to see if there was anywhere to pry up on the keyboard from the bottom, but um, it's just as easy to pry it up from the top. Okay, so I've reconnected the two battery connectors. These little rubber feet have a little lip to them on the one side there, so you want to make sure that lines up with the slot. These other rubber feet here for the other screws, they're all different, so you need to make sure you have those in the right holes, and you need to make sure they're all lined up properly. And that's it.